you are 1.7 million people were there they say i don't know if that's accurate but i I believe it if if the government incited violence through private cha companies which i think just like the whole private perversion of law happened with right you got to wear a mask in walmart thing i think they use these layers of plausible deniability and protection through these private entities yeah so if the government if we can somehow prove which i don't know if it can be done but we're going to keep trying if we can prove that the government incited violence on january 6th it's got to be the grossest violation of the first amendment in the history of america right it's well, got to be i mean you can see the it's entrapment yeah there's complete and total entrapment for everybody you see the the yep. cops telling the the undercovers telling yep. people to move forward keep going keep going it's entrapment come on here's, inside the building here's what i here was i was told here's what i was told when i said that to my lawyers they said entrapment is not a crowd thing it's a it's a personal thing i yeah, i was what? asked they pulled that right out of their ass yep. that's bullshit i was asked did an fbi agent tell you directly to go in then did you say no and then did he convince you to do after you said no that's what i was told when i was considering an entrapment defense for trial and so i'm like wait a minute it says in jury instruction it doesn't say that it has to be through words it could be body language right so if if my grandmother is sitting home alone and 80 people surround her house and start chanting something so she goes outside and starts chanting with them was she influenced like they there there's a point where when a crowd is so massive you can kind of skirt the rules of entrapment according to the courts because you're like well we didn't entrap you other people got excited and then you saw them get excited Right. So there's these layers of protection that they have. Right. It's a lot like how the CIA and the military work, really. I think I think the military, honestly, might have been the ones there. Um, part of me feels like it was some kind of operation. But it's it's just odd to me that when you when you think about entrapment. It's it's defined in the jury instructions, and this is why I couldn't go with that argument as a personal thing. They say. Did an FBI agent say, did you say no? And did they convince you the opposite of what you wanted to do, right? But if you read the laws of entrapment, I almost consider going to court just to change the case law, honestly, because Mm. I think entrapment can be induced by body language. Body language is 85% of human communication. Right, And, and they won't let you know who the FBI agents or the mm-hmm. any kind of police undercover anybody is in the crowd. Yep. So how do you know you weren't influenced in that way? And and which is odd in my case, the guy that took the picture in my statement of facts of me going through the window, who fake splashed his face and didn't never got maced, he's not identified. Doesn't make sense. The dude's not identified. Yeah. And well, I, she, I I I like truly. The first- yeah, go ahead. Hank. I truly think he he was probably somebody that wanted to be hired by the FBI. They they what what happens at these big events? I have a a, a cousin that's a police Recruiting officer. process. Yeah, so they say, hey, we got a big event going on. We need you to do this. I I have a a cousin that's a police officer, and he 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 told me on on the fourth of July, like eight years ago, um, he couldn't be at the party. He said, I got to go help out and do a drug buy at, at this. Uh, this carnival so i said why he said well because i'm trying to be higher they basically you know you got to help them out an audition yep so i think there were probably people there like the guy from with the camo hat he might not have actually been a fed yet but part of me feels like he was like a wannabe fed and i mean you look at him he kind of looks like he's not a fed yet right and i think they they either used or all of them, just like the guy asked me, who are you guys with? I think there were multiple organizations there and there were so many people helping them that signed NDAs or that were 
doing helping out for less of a sentence and shit they were already facing stuff right. like that right or the more they... you look into it the odder it gets i'm telling you I, if people really need to look into the west terrace because i think that's where that push where they said oh there's a breach and everybody heard it in the crowd that push led up to the west, west terrace that's where ray epps was on that back right right the whole ray epps thing at the first push that right. was the beginning of the whole west terrace push right all those people went up into where the window that i went in so right. there there was in my opinion there were there was a, a lot of uh government agencies i mean think about it are we really going to let that many people close that close to our capital without having some kind of agency or fbi right. in the crowd of course yeah. they were in the crowd yeah right but if they're in the crowd fraudulently which in the jury instructions for um, entrapment, if they dress and act fraudulently, it's still entrapment. Mm -hmm. I brought that up with both my attorneys. They shot it down. Of course they but did. Yeah. If there's lawyers out there, please look into that because there, there's we need to be able to prove that entrapment can happen through body language and not only language because language is only 15% of communication, right? So words don't really need to happen in a crowd like that. Right. And